applying to my Form 5 students. Okay, <coughs> so the next part of the chapter 2, alright, will be about the series and parallel circuit. Okay, you might have learned this before, uh, earlier on in your Form 1 until Form 3 syllabus. Okay, I believe you have an exposure about series and parallel. Alright, so the meaning of series, okay, series circuit and parallel circuit is like this. Now, for a series circuit, if you notice, you only have one path. Okay, in other words, if I do it in layman term, you only have one route. Alright, parallel, I have many routes to take. Okay, many paths, many junctions. Alright, so technically, uh, my electrons. Okay, remember that when we talk about current, uh, okay, remember the explanation that I've given previously, current is referring to the number of electrons moving in the circuit. Okay, so for a series circuit, your electrons can only move along one route. Okay, all electrons will move here. Okay, in this particular circuit. All right. Therefore, your <coughs> uh, what do you call m your ammeter reading. Okay, this is your ammeter. Yeah? This is a resistor. This is ammeter. Right, your ammeter reading will always be the same for a series circuit. So if let's say I have five ampere. Okay, meaning at E1, this one is also 5 ampere, and E2 is also 5 ampere. Okay, since current can only travel in this particular line right here. Okay, or uh, in other words, if I use the number of electrons to explain, uh, if I have, let's say, uh, 50 electrons, okay, meaning the 50 electrons, they travel at this particular road here. So all 50 electrons will pass through E1 and also E2. Okay, m meter 1 and m meter 2. That is why your current will always be the same. Okay, so remember this one is important. Alright, current is the same <coughs> in a series circuit. Okay, whereas for parallel, okay, um, since uh, uh, the, when the current moves, uh, all right, or when the electron moves in the circuit, and then when they reach here, there's a junction. So some will go to the uh, some current will go to A2, some current will go to A1. Alright, so meaning your current is split. Okay, that is why the relationship here, alright, is like this. Okay, meaning that if let's say this one is 5 ampere, okay, so maybe after you split, this one will get 2 amperes, this one will get 3 amperes, for example. Alright, of course there are ways for us to calculate the exact amount. Okay. So technically uh, for a parallel circuit, the current will be shared. Okay, that's why if you see here, two resistors share the main current. So this one is main current. When you reach us here, they will split, alright, and then they will share the current. So after they pass through here, right, at the end here, they're going to come out here. So this part here, you are going to get back the main current. So 5 ampere. So basically come here, split, and then combine back again at the back part. Alright, so it will never ex what they call exceed the main current. Impossible after go out, suddenly here becomes 10 ampere. It's not logic. Alright, so that is the difference between series and parallel circuit in terms of current. Okay, now in terms of voltage, <coughs> alright. So, for a series circuit, the voltage are shared. Okay, so if you see here, alright, the relationship here. Okay, so as the current passes through the resistor here, okay, their voltage is going to decrease. Alright, now to understand why this, uh, why the voltage will decrease, uh, I will explain it uh, later on. Uh, during our uh, what do you call live session? Okay, why the voltage uh, is uh, what do you call is uh, decreases as you go in a series circuit? Okay, so for now we just try and remember the relationship. All right. For parallel circuit, the voltage remains the same. Okay, <coughs> so as you can see here, if this one is three volts, in here V one, this one is also three volts. Here is also three volts. Okay, so for a 
parallel circuit, it doesn't matter how many parallel circuits that you have, right? The voltage will always be the same. Okay, whereas for a series circuit, the voltage will be splitted. Alright, so maybe this one you will get, let's say for example, uh, 2 volts, this one maybe you will get 1 volt. Okay, it's based on the, uh, what they call, uh, current, uh, the voltage here. Alright, so this one maybe you will get 1 volt. Okay, this one is 3 volts. <coughs> Alright, and then again, once they go through the resistor comes back, okay, here this part will be 3 volt again. Okay, so remember the uh, another term for voltage is potential difference. Alright, so <coughs> that is the two things, okay, current and also voltage. Okay, now light bulbs, right? So advantages. Okay, so for a series circuit, alright, the disadvantage is that if one of the light bulbs uh, is not working, all of the all light bulbs will not be working. Whereas for parallel circuit. If one is not functioning, at least the other one will still function, all right? Because here, your current is splitted, okay? Here, your current is not splitted. So if anything happens to any of the light bulbs, uh, let's say, for example, if I change this to light bulb instead of a resistor, all right? If this one is not functioning, all right? Current cannot pass through, right? So meaning the other light bulbs in the circuit also cannot function. Whereas this one, because the currents are splitted, so even though this one is not functioning, but because the currents are still moving at this particular uh, line here, a uh, circuit here in V2, alright, this one can still light up, okay? And then the brightness will depend on the voltage, okay? So generally, we say that parallel circuits will have, uh, what do you call, will, light bulbs in parallel circuits will always be brighter than series circuit. Why? Because it depends on their voltage. Okay, so as you can see here, right, <coughs> here your voltage is shared, meaning that if I put a light bulb here, maybe this one I can only get 2 volt, this one is 1 volt, so the brightness will be lower than here. Why? Because here is 3 volts, right? So for a parallel circuit, we say that their voltage is the same. All will get 3 volts. So we say that light bulbs in parallel circuit will always be brighter than a series circuit. <clears throat> Alright, so those are the two important, uh, three important things that you need to know, okay? Uh, so there's a summary here, alright, that shows you the relationship, okay? Uh, in the series circuit and also parallel circuit, okay? Now, in terms of calculation, we need to consider the resistance, alright? Because we are going to use the formula, okay? V equals to IR, remember? The Ohm's law. Alright, we are going to use this for calculation. Okay, so you need to know uh, what they call uh, the relationship between the three variables in a series and parallel circuit. Alright, so remember current in a series is always the same. Okay, voltage is shared. Okay, resistance. Okay, for a series circuit, you are going to add up all the resistance. Okay, whereas for parallel, alright, your current is shared but your voltage is the same. And then, the total resistance, meaning R1 plus R2 and R3, okay, this formula is very important. We are going to use the reciprocal of the resistance to calculate the total resistance. Alright, so this particular word here, effective resistance, okay, it's also another meaning for total resistance. Okay, to make it easier for you to understand. All right, effective resistance is meaning the total resistance, meaning you need to add up everything. Just the way that you add it is different. Now. Okay, for parallel circuit, the way that you add it is this one. Okay, now <clears throat> after you get your final answer 1 over R, okay, this is not the final answer. Okay, we want the total resistance, meaning I want it to be R. So you need to flip back the fraction. Okay, so let's say yeah, I give you an example. If the total uh, or the effective resistance that you calculate is let's say 1 over 2. Alright, so this is 1 over R equals to 1 over 2, right? So R is equals to 2. So this is the 
resistance value that you want and not this one okay not this one uh. you need to flip back okay, you need to switch back all right so that we can get the resistance value okay all right so brightness of bulb okay, I already explained uh, parallel will have a uh, brighter compared to series okay because here the voltage are the same all right okay so our conclusion Okay, remember the formula for resistivity that we learned earlier on? Okay, the relationship between uh, length, uh, what do you call, uh, cross-sectional area, alright, how does it affect our resistance? So, the longer the length, the higher the resistance. Okay, whereas for <coughs> uh, parallel, because you arrange in parallel, right? So, technically, we can also say that you are actually producing a larger surface area so a larger surface area meaning it's easier for electrons to move hence the resistance will be lower all right so if you want a detailed explanation refer back to the uh, video the previous video on the what they call resistivity part okay all right so i'm going to show you a few questions all right so for example like this one Okay, calculate resistance. So this one, we are just going to add up everything. Okay, we are going to add up all this. So 2 plus 3 plus 5, this one is my resistance for A. Okay, the effective resistance. So 10 ohm. Okay, for B, remember our formula, this is the parallel circuit. So we need to use this formula. 1, plus, 1 over 2 plus 1 over 3 plus 1 over 5. Alright, so this one, the total will be uh, <coughs> Okay, so this one, if you click your, or you press your calculator, right? So I'm just going to do this uh, faster way So 10, 30 Right, so maybe I will change it into 30 uh, So this one is 15 plus 10 plus 6 over 30 31 over 30 all right so remember this is 1 over r i1 r so this one i need to flip back so the top part 31 okay so can you uh, simplify this i don't think you can simplify this let me just check all right no, I don't think you can simplify this. Alright, so this one should be the final answer. Okay. Now, what about if you have this? <coughs> okay. This and this is actually a what we call a combined circuit. Combined circuit meaning that you are combining the series and parallel uh, circuits. Alright, as you can see here, this one, here you have a parallel circuit. Suddenly, okay, and then this one, but right, it's a parallel circuit and then you have a series circuit here. So this is what we call a combined circuit. And if you have a combined circuit, normally we need to simplify <coughs> the circuits. So for example, in this case, what I'm going to do is first I'm going to calculate this part. Alright, so this is a parallel, right? So I'm going to calculate this one first. So 1 over 2 plus 1 over 4. Okay, so this one will be 3 over 4 and then remember I need to flip uh. so this one is 4 over 3 ohm <coughs> now once I have this value meaning that actually I have already changed this circuit into like this okay this one <coughs> Okay, this one then like this. Okay, this is 3 ohm. Okay, 3 ohm, and then this one I already calculate the total resistance or the effective resistance. Oh, not total, uh, I already calculate the resistance for this part. I already added up. So I can simplify these two things into one resistor. So this one is 4 over 3. <laughs> and then I can calculate the total resistance. So I just add up. K3 okay, plus uh, what do you call 4 over 3. Okay, and then you will get your 
answer. So it's 3, 4 over 3. Now you cannot leave it in fraction. Huh? You need to change it into decimal. Alright. So this one. Let me just calculate this. So this one will be 4.33 ohm. Okay, so that is how you change, alright? For example, like this one, right? <coughs> okay, since this one is a series, meaning I convert this one first. I change this one into one, uh, what do you call, uh, resistor first. So, let's say, for example, this one. Oh, oh, oh. I'm going to change it into like this first. Okay, like this. So, this one is 6 ohm. Okay, so since this one is series, <coughs> okay, they are arranged in series, uh, I just add up. So here is 6 ohm also. Okay, and then I can use the, uh, what do you call, uh, resistance formula to calculate the total resistance. So 1 over 6 plus 1 over 6 is equal to 2 over 6. This is 1 over R. Remember, R, we need to step back. So total is 3 ohms. Alright, so it's very very important that you know how to change the, uh, how to calculate the resistance for a combined circuit. Okay, if you see a parallel one, <coughs> you calculate this one first so that you can change it into this form, into a series. Alright, if you get a series and then it's arranged in parallel, you calculate these two first. Okay, you add up and then only you calculate the resistance using the parallel circuit formula. Right. Okay. So, for example, if they ask you to calculate the current, you are going to use the formula V equals to I R. Okay. So here your voltage is six volts. Okay. Current, I don't know. Okay. Your resistance. This is series. Uh, parallel. So I need to calculate my resistance. Okay. So this one is one over three plus. 1 over 4. So it's 7 over 12. But this is 1 over R. What I want is R. So 12 over 7 ohms. <coughs> okay, right? And then I'm going to use this to put it into my formula. So remember, uh, this formula V equals to IR. Your resistance must be the total resistance of the circuit. Right? Unless they specify uh, this particular, uh, what they call part of the circuit, then it will be different, uh, right? So since they are one, they want the total current in the circuit. I need to use total resistance. Okay, if they want to calculate the current for this one, let's say for example, I label this as I one and I two. If I want to know the current for this part right here, meaning the resistance that I use is also only this one, three ohms. No need to add with four ohms. Okay, but since I one is the total current. I need to use the total resistance. So you need to find. That's why you need to remember uh, if series, how do we calculate the resistance? If parallel, how do we calculate the resistance? Okay, so uh, this is 6 volt, right? 6 volt K equals to IR. So this one is 12 over 7, all right? So current is also equal to 6 multiply, oh, sorry. Multiply 7 over 12. Okay, because this one is multiplied, bring over is divide. So you flip up. Okay, so this one. Okay, so half. So your current is actually 3.5 amps. Okay, so that is how you solve the uh, questions involving series and parallel circuit. Alright. Okay, uh, good luck in trying all the questions. So uh, I will see you next time. Alright, any questions, uh, just message me.